Hey y'all and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. In this video we're going to be talking about the Texture Paint Brushes curve settings. Now the way that you read the curve setting is pretty easy. The left means the center of the radius of your brush and then the further you go right the further away you get from the center. So this is the outside edge and this is the center of your brush. The higher up you go, the stronger the color in that area will be. So by default, we have this nice little fall off and there's a very gradual fall off here. And so if we switch to the dot stroke method and pick, let's say a bright obnoxious green, we can kind of see how this gets represented. And you can see that when I change the radius here, you can actually see it's really bright in the center, and as it goes towards the edge, it starts to fall off. So if we leave a dot there, we can see how that plays out. If we then change the curve to one of the other presets, so say more of the uh, spherical preset, you can see how the curve is going to apply mostly all the color until it gets to the end. We can see that that gets represented in the changing of the radius, and when we drop a dot, that's what that looks like. When we grab the uh, more conal version, you can see it's pretty much a good fit between this one and this one. So there's the conal version there. We then have the uh, pike or inverse where it's super tight in the center and as you go away it falls off pretty quickly. So we can drop that there and see how that looks. We then have the linear fall off which is just going to go from super bright and all the way to the edge, it's just going to keep it. And then we have the constant brush where it's just gonna completely put in a green circle and not worry about falling off at all. Now let's talk about how to create custom curves. All right, so it's pretty easy to create a custom curve here. Uh, let's just grab one of the curves and let's say what I wanna do is create something of a bullseye pattern. So all I have to do if I want to add in a point for that curve is simply click in that area and then drag a particular dot down to where I want it. So if we're gonna create a bullseye pattern, what we need is kind of two areas with really high effect and then some areas with no effect. So we'll add in another piece down here and say there's gonna be no color in the middle here and then we'll take this pretty much all the way up pull this one down and actually just add in a couple. And that's all it is. So just click and drag and add. And then place it. And now we have a brush that looks like a bullseye pattern. So if we go to the exact front and we put a bullseye on either of his eyes, now he's got bullseyes for eyes and it looks a little weird, but that's essentially how you can create your own custom curves for getting some pretty weird designs with the curve settings. So if you play around and combine the stroke and curve settings, uh, you can actually get some really cool painting effects with just the standard brush. I'm Sir Pinkbeard and I will see you in the next video.